Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today I have me right here about $1,000 worth of audio equipment. I am upgrading my gear to be pro, and this is the Yamaha HS5's Scarlett Solo DAC <laughs> XLR to TRS balanced cables. I've got it set up because I want to get my MacBook Pro Super Pro Audio. Now what you guys want to know is, do these speakers generate self noise? That audio hiss, is it audible in these speakers? sorry, studio monitors, and unfortunately, they are audible. Even when no audio cables are plugged in, and it's just connected to the socket of the power, there is a hiss. I can hear it from about a meter and a half away. Most of the speakers I've tried, the powered ones, after about 20 centimeters, it fades away into noiseless C. Whereas these guys, they are beast mode activated when nothing is playing it, just plugged into the wall, you get noise. And this is just with one of the speakers on. I didn't even bother unboxing the second one because two of them, double the noise, I cannot handle that. I don't know how you professional audio, maybe you guys have been playing the guitar too much, too much drumming, buzzed out your ears, so it's all right for you guys. But in the world of serenity, they are not good. I just want to save the time of you people out there who may have heard Yamaha HS speakers are the way to go. For quietness, they are awful. When nothing is playing, there is a zzz, and it's not the kind of like nice, you know, quiet fan, you know, AC kind of noise. It's just pure static sparkling electricity. Now, you guys out there, I say, hey Ash, you might be plugging it into dirty electricity and all that kind of nonsense. Maybe it's a grounding issue. I'm plugging this guy into my UPS unit, which turns dirty electricity into clean electricity. And further to that, I've used a three-prong converter to a two-prong converter like that. Boom, no grounding whatsoever, and it still makes that audio noise. So all these people on the internet that say there's a magical trick and a solution to get rid of that noise, they are lying to you. Now these speakers, they do produce amazing audio sound. Unfortunately, I haven't got around to testing how it sounds. I've just listened to audio on YouTube, and you can see that the, the signal is very flat. The reason why you want studio monitors is because in my experience, when I produce videos for you guys and myself, that and the other, I hear the speakers from a MacBook Pro and the quality there is, it's good, but I miss out a lot of the sound that other people hear. So I get some comments saying, why is he whispering? Mate, when you listen to me on a MacBook Pro, I'm not whispering. I'm actually talking like a normal person, but your speakers make it sound to you guys that I'm whispering. And there's all these kind of like problems I've noticed when you produce music on your MacBook Pro, for example, you don't hear certain hisses and noises and all this kind of nonsense, whereas with these studio monitors, because the audio is flat, it's not overproduced, you hear it how it should be heard. So if you can make the audio sound good on these kind of speakers, you're good for life. Fortunately, I can't be using these speakers. If anyone knows any good studio monitors I can be using that don't have that awful white noise, that self noise of what the hell, nothing is playing. Why is it making that noise? I don't mind a little bit of hiss. Actually, I don't want hiss, but I don't mind noise when there's noise to be played. But when it's off, why is it on? Anyway, so that is the state of play today. Now, I do have these cool gear with me, and I'll just explain how it works. So these speakers cannot be plugged in directly to your laptop. You're going to need one of these interfaces. Now, this is a Garlet Solo. I heard this guy was the best non-noise producing DAX. You plug this guy into your laptop and this guy gives you holes in the back where you can plug in some cables and you can use these cables to plug into your studio monitors. Now I've opted for something called balanced cables. So this is an XLR to TRS and you can also get a TRS to TRS and they're also balanced. The reason why you want balanced is because they have noise cancellation. I'll explain how it works actually over there. So normal cables, they transmit the signal, boom, shakalaka like that over the airwaves. You see that right there? You've got a nice wave happening. However, with outside interference, you get noise. So let's just see there's noise coming in like that and it ruins the audio. Balance cables, on the other hand, what they do is they transmit the signal twice. Once normal and the other time inverted. So check it out right here. I'm gonna do it the other way around. And this time, when the audio noise comes in, comes in this direction. So you've got one signal, normal, one signal inverted and you've got the noise. So then on the other end, it combines those two signals back together and it has to get two hits for it to register as audio. So we're gonna draw the first one. And the noise levels like that. So this bit is the noise 
and this bit is the first signal. Second time round, we're going to flip it back and draw it again, which will complete this line. And the noise is this time going to be going like this. So as you can see, we've got nice audio signal right there, perfect and crisp. There will be a bit of noise in some areas, but most of the noise, the outside interference will be gone. But I hope this kind of makes sense why balanced is the way to go. Cleaning up automatically. Back to the show. So the idea is if you have noise cancelling, balanced connections, you should not be getting that self noise that you usually get on a MacBook Pro if you plug it in through the three and a half millimeter jack. So every single three and a half millimeter speakers I've tried on this MacBook Pro, they've had a hiss. Now the best speakers I've tried so far is the Edifier ones. There is self noise if you use it via the three and a half millimeter jack. However, if you connect using USB from about 20 centimeters away, the hiss kind of fades out into the distance and they sound amazing. I returned mine unfortunately because one of my speakers made a buzzing sound at certain frequencies and I figured if I was spending all that money, I might as well get the best. Unfortunately, the best actually are worse. So I don't know what I'm doing with my life. No, no, no. I like to hear you say monitors. Monitors. I swear. Okay. About two weeks ago, Ash told me people on YouTube are so stupid. They call speakers monitors. Guess what they, they said to me? Guess what people on YouTube call speakers? And I said, I don't know. What do they call them? And he said, monitors. And I said, what do you mean monitors? That's a computer monitor. And fast forward three weeks, my one and true love, what does he call them? So ergo, that makes you a? They're, they're even like pulling out the, the earth pin from their, from, their, from their power cable and plug it in to cause a fire oh just to get God. rid of this. Are you serious? Yeah, and they don't even like tell you that it got rid of the hiss. They just say, yeah, I can't hear this. They don't actually- it's Because their, their monitors have gone on fire and technically their house is all burned down and they don't have yeah, everyone's just a bullshit. You can just see the pain in Ash's eyes. Like, I know he's wearing his sunglasses, but literally, we have spent the last two hours. <laughs> two hours, no lie. Oh, my darling, I love you so much. We spent the last two hours sitting in a shopping mall we went, on we, a bench. We went into a music store so we can listen to the speakers, monitors, whatever. <laughs> One of the guys says, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll hook you up for you, give you a demo. Then the other girl goes, no, no, we can't do that here. And then for some reason, we bought the speakers anyway. Why did we buy no, it from price. them? What is the point of going to a music store if you can't listen to the music? And the guy said, we don't do refunds. Why did I buy it? All right, hope you found this video useful. If you have any solutions to get rid of that hiss, again, I've tried everything. This balance cables, my friends. This is a, a three prong to two prong connector. This, I'm using a UPS, dirty to clean energy. It's all lies, it's all lies. If you have any suggestions, something that I may have missed, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for good sounding studio monitors that don't have this awful self noise, please also let me know because I'm looking for a good set of speakers I can use with my MacBook Pro City. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. The show of me having to return all of this monstrosity back to sender.